In this video, we're going to talk about the lateral knee. Uh, the main difficulty that I see with students trying to learn the lateral knee is not so much how to position, but rather how to tell if their film is over rotated or under rotated or if they've got you know too much angulation or not enough angulation. Uh, so that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, the positioning books, the Bontrager and Merrill's, they, they tell us to use the uh, the condyles as a guide um, and that the medial condyle is going to be uh, magnified and therefore show up a little bit larger. And While this is certainly true, it's uh, not, in my experience, not always that easy to actually tell which condyle appears magnified on our films. Uh, the easiest way that I have found to distinguish the condyles, uh, the medial from the lateral, is simply to look at the proximal tibiofibular joint. Uh, now, I, I do apologize up front. This model that I have here is not exactly anatomically correct. Uh, typically, when the knee is perfectly lateral, uh, this proximal tibiofibular joint is, or, or rather, the, the fibular head is just going to be just superimposing over the uh, the proximal tibia just a little bit. This is actually a little bit exaggerated here. If we were to put this one right where it should be, which is right about there, you can see we're pretty over rotated there. So I do apologize for that, but at least we can get a, a pretty good solid idea of the at least the perceived motion of the fibula when we uh, rotate the knee or, or angle the tube a little bit. Um, now as we externally rotate the knee, what happens is you can see the the proximal fibula, the fibular head, uh, appears to move backwards. And of course as we then internally rotate the knee, you can see that the fibular head becomes very, very superimposed over the tibia. Um, at the same time as we angle our tube cephalically, uh, you can see that the proximal tibia appears to move southward, appears to move, move inferiorly, and if we angle the tube caudally, then the proximal fibula uh, gets really close to this medial condyle here. It appears to move north and the condyle appears to move south, so they come really close to each other. So very simply, if your fibula is, if it's completely su superimposed over the tibia, you know that you are uh, not rotated enough externally, uh, and a complete lack of superimposition which in this video is here, but normally it'd be about right here. A complete lack of superimposition would mean that you have rotated too much. Uh, and also, if the fibular head appears closer to the condyles than what you're used to seeing, it means that you don't have uh, enough cephalid angulation. And a larger gap between the fibular head and the condyles means that you have angled too steeply. So that is uh, a lateral knee. So have a look at that and see, uh, see if you can just visualize it from a lot of different angles. And that's that. Again, hope it's, hope it's helpful.